personally like to just see him go top right away. I also to notice something else which did end up happening is, uh, well, they're really trying but to get into RGK. He's been picked up, thrown down, while the Surgeon's available. Prophet TP's in, but he got body bopped up by Aggressive. That buys the time for the last two attacks to arrive. Like if, if he plays this right, you've got two minutes, but you've also got the TP available. Lanham's going to come in, the Paralyzing cast to go. Follow-up stun, and uh, with the Hex already, so Lanham's already got that level two. They need more damage, the misses uphill, and none of them missing. And Lanham with the last attack, it's going to be enough. They bring down Prophet, and the RNG just has been prayed to for E-Home. They, the, get, they get the one back, now maybe DDC. He will go down, so Split Earth is able to connect, and they're going in even further here, Shift Kick. With that, uh, with that Edict going after Lanham, and he's got a up the stun and TP up. Prophet comes in to just at least a little bit of the experience out of this one. The screams there and he just survives. Down will also be 60 HP. The Shadow Strike is enough. He needs the tango. Oh wow. Okay, after this gank in the mirror, there's a smoke which wasn't scouted out. He smoked on the high ground, and you've already had the edict being used. The blink away, however, leaves Lanham stranded on the wrong side of the river. The visual arrived, and he's got no way out of here. The Prophet once again TPing in. In the past was the fact you just didn't have a mana pool to support the Sonic Wave and screen together. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. With the, with the call down, they bring down the Prophet once again into the Omni Slash. Lanham helping to take it up quickly into the Hex. Aggressive has no mana available, but it won't stop him from doing the physical damage. All right, oh, Lanham Lash. Wow, it's just his day. Who won on top lane from either team? That's easily worth it for E Home. This trade off. Um, in the meantime, Quap is farming in the mid. Uh, Buffer came down. Very aggressive TP, but that means it's also very close. Now this flat cannon attack coming from the gyro in the trees. There's no cooldown available, but aggressive dropped very low because of the attacks that are there. Lanham trying to juke out these treants, staying alive around the town. Not going to happen. The last attack is there from the Prophet, but the cost is high. Tracky ended up dying. RTK surging himself forward, trying to find Garda. Successful at doing so, backing it back. So he's trying to bring him a range of. Okay, there's no mana for a rocket garage by the looks of it. So they just do it the old-fashioned way with just attack, attack, attack. Getting that in level six, or maybe level. Well, yeah, I guess level six in almost every single piece of surprised by it, but. In some cases, it's definitely better to level up the vacuum for the setup as DDC. Wow, wow. he's actually gonna <laughs> die. What a nice kill. He just came to try and deny that rune. It was not for nothing else. With the trees being summoned on the high ground, Prophet got the vision, just followed up with the with the sprout. That's a, uh, if he wanted to get first, uh, I, yeah, what else would he Four steps, not good. Uh, Sprout's gonna break land. Oh. We get the double stun, but he gets picked up. Curse, but. Like up on the way, the Oxy Wall's there too, trying to back Shiki back into it, in with the Death Ward, but there's so much damage arriving from Aggressive, but is it going to be enough? The Death Ward rips through him, they lose their two big calls for the price of a Lion. Pretty there. Juggernaut is not that good at taking ancient stacks. Yep. If you have it in power or something, then sure, but... Uh, stun oh, in the goal, down they can follow with the Hex, that Lashrak's going to hurt here, but they need more from RTK back. Wall, there's that Yule Scepter sending him up into all the air, trying to buy some time for Lashrak, still walking back out from the Death Ward. It was too much damage, and there's your Sonic Wave kill. Lashrak will end up dropping, and see they can get him the hell out of here as quick as they possibly can. Aggressive's already pretty low, can't run away too quickly because that Shadow Strike is on top of him. Now the Paralyzing cast into the Finger of Death, never got the Omni Slash off, and uh, all the rest of the TPs will be happening too, so... But the Prophet's getting more and more space, and it won't be long before he starts picking up Necro Books, Yule Scepter, setting up for the stun over on DDC, or he had the Restoration, so he survives a little bit longer, the back end of the wall from RTK, it won't hold him there long enough as they just run away Carter, so quick on the move, but the Rocket Barrage will end up killing him off. How quickly can they finish this? The trees are coming out, Roshan's down to 2k of that uh, OP, and RTK looking for the back... To get him up on the cliff side? No, he just backs him in and Prophet as well as the Shrike already down for the count. You do have that movement up with the Echo Slam, or is it, is it even an Echo Slam? The Death Watch from the high ground and Seed Heck are completely dead as we see all the, the call down. Yeah, the issue here is if he split pushes, any duo of E Home heroes can kill him off as Lesh is going to get caught here in the bottom lane. Lesh TY is showing off. Is BKB. They also got the Prophet, and yep. they're gonna get Garter. Wow. Okay. This is very quickly getting completely out of control for Cedic. They down to a quarter of his life, and you got nothing else. Well, Shrak spawns up in one second time, and the Juggernaut moves in. They got the Sprout to pick up. It's going to be the throwback over on CTY into the Death Ward. The back of the wall, oh. and the huge damage. That hurts. The Flag Hammer is on. I just think Cedic have just been knocked out. Yeah, they have. It is GG. Cedic will drop to the lower bracket. Could final and e home will be attending ti in what capacity we'll find out tomorrow but